Welcome back to my walkthrough for Final Fantasy XV, my friends. So, in the previous segment we obtained another royal arm, and now we can advance with the plot, but before we advance with the next big quest, we're going to take care of a few more side quests, and I recommend that you do this now, because you can get upgraded weapons, which will really come in handy, and you can gain some extra experience points and ability points, which never hurt. I I first things first, we're going to defeat a curl, yeah. which is an enemy that appears around this area at night. And it can't take damage when you use uh, lightning magic, but it's weak against fire magic. So we're going to huh? use a couple of fire agas on it, and that should be enough to defeat it. He might be a little bit overpowered at this point in the game, so I recommend that you keep your distance and wait for Fairaga to be available once again and then cast it one more time and that should be enough to defeat it. If you want, do a few warp strikes, but as soon as you strike it, move away from it, because if it hits you right now, you will probably be knocked out. As you can see, My teammates are already struggling here, but if we beat it, we'll be able to upgrade another weapon once we take it to seed, so it's a good idea for you to do this. And there we go, we got him, and we also got some rewards, and now we got the required parts to once again up upgrade our weapons. Whenever you have a weapon that has that plus yellow symbol next to it, that means that it can be upgraded by seed. And either way, we need to head towards the Hammerhead Garage because there's also a couple of side quests that we can complete with Cindy at this point. And they're very simple side quests, so you shouldn't have any major issues. But with Fireaga, you'll be able to defeat that curl without any issues. Of course, just remember to keep your distance, and whenever you perform a warp strike, immediately move away, otherwise, you will be knocked out because at this point in the game these monsters the monsters that appear at night oh, nice. they're usually too overpowered yeah. for you to face even with powerful spells and it's possible to defeat them with these powerful spells like fireaga blizzaga and tandaga especially if you have double cast and you should have it because if you've been following my walkthrough you've been combining that precious milk with thunder fire and ice magic and that's the result, as long as you have the power craft ability unlocked, you always craft Fireaga, Tandaga gotcha. and Blizzaga. But those fights can still be very hard, so you still need to be very careful, and I don't recommend that you take them on at this stage. So now we're going to set up camp, gain a little bit extra ability points, and then in the morning we're going to travel to the Hammerhead Garage, and we'll start couple of other side quests and we'll also give our weapons to seed. At this point you should be able to upgrade at least two of our weapons. Maybe even three if you have a dynamo stone. But I don't have one because the enemies that you can face to get them, they didn't drop any for me. But you have to face those MA Vili's. They can drop them. And that and you can use that dynamo stone to upgrade your bio blaster. But for now, I'll just have to keep battling a few of those until I get it. But we will be able to upgrade our drain lands and the auto crossbow. And once Seed upgrades them, they're going to be rather devastating. And they'll be great weapons for you to give to both Ignis and Prompto. It will really boost up their attack. Again, remember to always try and prepare meals that one of the party members likes because with the appetizer ability um, you'll be able to gain 1 AP for doing this and in the morning just travel to the Hammerhead, I'm not going to show myself traveling there but head there and we'll start the next series of quests, we'll be traveling back and forth a lot as per usual but it's worth it and hey at least we don't have to go buy and buy tomatoes like we did couple of parts earlier on but anyway
to the hammerhead we go. Don't fast travel drive there so that you gain AP. Here we are. First things first, we're going to deliver the sirloin steak. <laughs> I swear we're delivery boys in this game. But we're going to deliver it to Taka or Forest Whitaker, whatever you want to call him. And we'll gain 1000 experience points for doing this. So, if you watched the previous segment of my walkthrough, Shall we show you should have one sirloin steak. Me. I think it's called sirloin steak. Uh, oh, it's just but anyway, just deliver it to Taka Drop and you'll get a lot of experience points. At this point, you don't need to accept oh. another oh. <laughs> task <laughs> really because through. you won't be able now to complete it at this weeks. point. How come you don't do your own hunting? So let him be Chased for now. Folks begging him for food with nothing but my knife. But that was no life. Ever since Sid came and bailed me out, I only ever used my knife in the kitchen. This here's for y'all. It'll fill you up and taste good going down. So there we go. We completed emergency delivery as well. And for now we'll leave him alone. But let's talk with Sid next. Just remember, in case you have any weapons that you want upgraded, make sure you remove them before you talk to Sid, so, we so that he can the upgrade them. Desperate and you will have to hand them over to Sid, but eventually, usually ago. after a day or so, he'll call yeah, you and right let you know that the weapons war. are ready. Whoa. So just give it to him. You should have the parts Whoa. both for the drain lands and for the auto crossbow and Depending right. if you were lucky or not, you, you might also have the ready. dynamo stone for the bio blaster. I don't have it yet, I'll get it. But for now I'm pleased nice. your by simply upgrading the auto crossbow and the drain lens. You You'll see that their attack power really increases power. once it is done with them. We'll get the drain lens number 3 and we'll get the... Oh. Auto crossbow Howdy, upgraded as well. Howdy there, Prince. Are y'all on break? More or less. Did you need help with something? Well, if it isn't the Don't walking stereotype. Anyway, up her sleeves this time. Work out just busy? accept this next quest. Most days that's true, but today's a little different. I was just about to step away from the garage for a spell. One of our regulars told me they found something real special lying around. A rare can of car wax. Reckon y'all could use it on the regalia, so I'm on my way to pick it up. For us? Let us do the legwork. You sure? It is our car. I tell you what, you got a point there. Well, if y'all insist, who am I to argue? Might take a little while to find it, though. Fine. Fella found it, but didn't have the foresight to grab it. Man, those camera angles aren't innocent at all, are they? It's kind so of sad to imagine some guy wild, find the wax and bring it back. really getting back into making sure that he gets the right so camera angles in this part. But anyway, us. just travel She's to the, the marked objective on the map. We'll battle some goblins. But nothing that we can't take, really. More? They're very easy to beat at this point. Let's hit it. Okay, guys, here we are. Like I said, just travel to the marked location on the map. You shouldn't have any issues. Let's just pick up a little bit of food. Because why not? You know, someone asked me... It was a couple of parts ago. Someone asked me in the comment section if <laughs> in Final Fantasy XV all that we did was kill monsters right? and Let's start looking. camp and, you know, run around. I'm not going to deny that a big part of this game involves us defeating monsters and solving very simple side quests helping people out, getting the items going? and so on, but keep in mind that I'm doing all of these side quests to further enhance 
my characters and make this walkthrough as complete as possible. If you want, you can just stick with the main storyline of the game. You won't have to do nearly as much side quests. You won't be as powerful either. And you miss out on a bunch of trophies, but you can still do that. Of course, the actual storyline of the game can be a little bit confusing at times as well, but we do have to save a kingdom and do other things, get the royal arms and so on. It's just that in order to get the better use of our characters and upgrade them as much as we need to, we have to do these side quests along the way. And I get it, some of these side quests might seem rather silly. But they're still worth it. Ring a bell? Not a one. Unsurprising, given it's three decades old. But anyway, we'll still have we to are. battle a few goblins, probably on our way out. Remember that they can poison you, so give Noctis the star pendant just in case. And now we're going to be completing a few extra side quests along the way. We just defeat these goblins. But anyway, head back to your character, you defeat them. And we are going to complete the Scraps of Mystery number 5 side quest. Let's go. Yep. I'll show you the location on the map. Okay. So from where we are, we want to head right over here in this area. And there's no point in me showing myself traveling here, but it's right here, the location. It's close to the area where you fought the Bloodhorn early on in the game. But if you go through here, you'll find the piece of paper that you want on the ground, right here, here it is, let me show it on the map once again, its location, so we are here, and now essentially we want to go to the marked location on the map, so from here, you want to go down, here we are, Again, not showing myself driving around because then this video would be very long. But the piece of the map that we want, Knocked. you just need Overhead. to climb up these rocks and you'll find the map right here. Surprise! Another map scrap. So once again, I'll show oh, you on the, the actual map. But just climb that rock and you'll find it. Shouldn't have any issues. And now we're going to travel to this location here again back to the three valleys and we're going to help the most annoying and incompetent hunter in Final Fantasy XV. Once again, assuming it's the same guy of course, and I do believe it's the same guy. First I need to take care of this Imperial, the Magitek Axeman. The noises that they make when they're destroyed actually a pretty creepy noise. If you look at their faces, they're fairly creepy. And Gladio takes care of three of them. Oh, there's still one left. There we go. So we're all good. Back to the car. Okay, guys, here we are. So now, like I said, we're going to complete the scared and stranded side quest. But keep in mind that this quest will only be available once you complete the Cry for Help side quest. Uh, so... If you haven't completed that side quest yet, then this guy won't be here. But you, all that you need to do is move to this area. There's a, a dual horn very close by. And here's our favorite hunter, or one of his brothers. Or maybe they were just lazy and decided to use the same model over and over. Either way, this guy's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. But we have to give him a potion. Thank you so much. His voice changes, but work. it's the same guy. 
Should just take him out of his misery. Anyway, next up, set up camp, rest, gain some AP and then travel back to the Hammerhead. Here we are. In the morning, once you set up camp, Seed should give you a call and let you know that the weapons are ready. And we got our drain lands upgraded and we also got our auto crossbow upgraded. A better auto crossbow. So I would recommend that you give the auto crossbow to Prompto for now. If y'all are having car trouble, Cindy's your girl. And honestly, you can either keep the drain lands for Noctis or give it to Ignis. Either way, it's fine. For now, I'm going to give it to Ignis because why not? And from here, we're going to talk with Cindy and we'll complete the ever regal regalia and we'll also automatically complete the well, I'll be. ever elegant regalia Man. because we need to to collect an ore stone near the entrance of a, a, a mine the the mines are called the Baluv mines and I don't recommend that you head there yet but either way if you already completed the goblin hunt and we did it a long time ago you should have some redstone shards which is what she needs so that will automatically complete this side quest but if you don't have it all that you need to do is travel to the entrance of Baluv mines that's where you battle the goblins um, in the mischief makers hunt and you'll find some of these redstone shards in the entrance accept the next quest because we'll be able to get what she needs during chapter 3 we can't do it yet but just accept the quest just so you can save some time and now we're going to complete one final quest it's called an exaggerated injury and we're going to travel all the way into the corner right over here there's a parking spot here and the guy will be here in this location so travel there but be careful with the blockade pull over a sec certainly here we are as you can see there's a lot of imperial standing in front of us but we're going to ignore them for now uh, we could should be a nice change of pace. another scraps of mystery or complete another scraps of mystery side quest here and get the scraps of mystery 4 but since that uh, the, the piece of the map that we want is located inside the mine where you shouldn't really travel inside it unless you're level 50 or so we're not going to do it now so we're going to save that side quest for later instead we're going to complete this extra side quest and the guy should be right here I don't know why he isn't here yet so let's move away a little bit and see if that triggers his appearance because he should be right there Let's turn back around. Sometimes this happens. If this happens, just restart your previous checkpoint and you should be fine. Anybody? There we are. Magically, he appears I now. Think I heard someone's voice. And it's the same guy. You know what, dude? This is the last time, I swear. If this wasn't a complete walkthrough, I would not be Thanks. doing this because this guy is just annoying me at this here. point. All in a day's work. But there we go, and that's going to be it for this segment, my friends. In the next segment, we're going to advance with the main plot of the game, so yeah, we have that to look forward to. <laughs> but as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this segment useful, and I will see you all later for the next part of my walkthrough. And yes, I'm going to kill this guy off screen, so he won't be here by the time we come back, that's for sure. But I'll see you all later. Take care. Prepare to die.